week three of the fantasy football season. Here's a few defense DST units. I looked it off the wire this week. The first one, the Cleveland Browns. So the Browns, a great matchup versus the New York Giants. I've had trouble moving the football the first two weeks of the season. Daniel Jones, one of the worst starting quarterbacks in all pro football. And we know the last couple of years, this has been a great unit is the Cleveland Browns. So week one versus Dallas, it was a tough game, no doubt about it. 33 points allowed, three sacks. But week two with Jacksonville, they went out there and played a great game. 13 points allowed, four sacks, and a safety. So this week in a matchup where I think Miles Garrett could get to Daniel Jones a few times in this one. And Denzel Ward, he could limit, I believe, as well, Malik Neighbors. Not to have a monster ball game. This Brown team could go out there, potential to be the number one defense this week and fantasy points with this great matchup and like I said this giant team they don't score a lot of touchdowns and just put field goals on the board number two the Las Vegas Raiders is a one week streaming option I like the matchup versus Carolina Panthers so the Panthers they removed Bryce Young as a starting quarterback and the veteran Andy Dalton is now coming as the starter so I think this Panther team that could move the football better with Andy Dalton he's got a good arm he's got a good on IQ and he's been in this league for many seasons and a good backup as well because of that. So the first couple weeks, they didn't do much. Was this rate of defense? Week one at the Chargers, 22 points allowed in a sack. And week two at Baltimore, 23 points allowed, two sacks and an INT. But they did win that ball game. But this week with a great matchup versus Carolina. Well, we know if you get a hand on Andy Dalton, he's not going to break out and he's going to go down. So I think they could get a few sacks. I think they could hold them mid-teens, low 20s. And this one is his Vegas rated team. And this week, as a streaming option... They are start the next defense, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So Tampa Bay has Denver Broncos coming to town. And so far, Bo Nix, he really hasn't looked good for this Denver Bronco team. But he does have a lack of weapons as well. Cortland Sutton, Marvin Mims, Josh Reynolds, their top receivers. Greg Dolchik at the tight end position. And Javante Williams and Julia McLaughlin out of the backfield. So, so far, Tampa Bay, they haven't done much in the early going. Week 1 versus Washington, 20 points allowed two sacks in week two with the lion it did limit them to only 16 points and two interceptions so this week i think this defense going back home could go out there and make some plays mo nicks he hasn't looked great in the early going this season even though he's a work in progress in his rookie year and i think tampa bay they're a good team and they're gonna put pressure led by todd bowles he's a defensive minded coach as the head coach of this tampa bay buck team get to the quarterback a few times in this one and create a few turnovers and hold them as well I believe in the mid-teens, low 20s this week, Tampa Bay. Bucks is a start next DSTs, the Cincinnati Bengals. So a good matchup versus the Commanders coming to town on Monday Night Football. Where Cincinnati, so far in the early going, I don't think their defense has played bad. I know last week they lost that tough one at the end at the Kansas City Chiefs. But they went out there and had a good performance. Week 1 versus New England, 16 points allowed in the sack. And last week at the Chiefs, 20 points allowed. Two sacks, two interceptions, and a fumble recovery. So this week, I think they could put pressure on Jaden Daniels. His weapons at the wide receiver position haven't done much so far. And Terry McLaurin, Noah Brown, Luke McCaffrey. And I think this week, they're going to get pressure on Daniels at times. I know Daniels, he's got a good IQ behind there for a rookie. He's got good wheels. He could get out of situations and run the football. But Cincinnati knows their back's against the wall with 0-2. And they've been here many times over the last few seasons. So I think this defense sets the tone in this ball game and has a good one in the final defense. I look to start to Los Angeles Chargers. So the Chargers, they've been a nice DST the first few weeks of the season where they were undrafted in most fantasy leagues. So the first two weeks, week one versus Vegas, 10 points allowed, four sacks, two fumble recoveries and interception. With Carolina, only three points allowed, two sacks and an INT. So this week at the Pittsburgh Steelers, I know the Steelers don't turn the football over but they're not a team that's going to put up a lot of points. And Justin Fields, it looks like they've changed his game a little bit. Where he's not looking to run a lot and he's not holding on to the ball a lot. Taking big hits and sacks his fields. But I still believe the Chargers could hold this in the mid-teens, low 20s as well. This offense, besides George Pickens and the Fields, is going to start running again. Those are the only two explosive players on this team. With Najee Harris being a decent running back and Jaron Warren a decent pass catcher out of the backfield but like I said this Steeler team they're about running the football and playing good defense I think this Charger team they could grind this one out they could put some points on the board and I believe they'll crack my top 12 I'm not saying they're top five DST this week but definitely a startable one so that's a few defense DST units I look to start for week three of the fantasy football season